Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Um, it's been a little bit since I've been on the channel here. I think it's been like two weeks since my last video, uh, but I ended up uh, going on vacation with my family for a little trip um, and then I got sick after. So I was not feeling well um, for a while and so I took a little bit of time off, but um, yeah, I'm back with a speed cast video actually. As you can see, we're not building a house or an apartment or anything, but we are in a little um, speed cast video. Uh, I got some like asks on my Simbler or like my Tumblr to um, like upload my process for making Sims. So yeah, that's kind of like what this is. And I asked you guys on the community tab if you guys would be up for that and people seem to want to see it. So I decided that that's what was going to be this upload for today. Um, I am still working on the house that I did put on my community tab in Windenburg. I'm doing like a modern build. So that is still coming up. Um, but I thought I'd get this video out while um, I could because it's a lot easier to make a cast video than it is to do a build. So yeah, that's what this video is today. Um, I've never done a speed cast for this channel, so I don't really know um, what to talk about. When people were asking like on my Tumblr to like upload my um, process for making Sims like in a video, I wasn't really sure like what that would look like because I just kind of go in and fiddle around. It's very just like off the cuff. Um, I think that my sim style has changed over time a little bit. I feel like everyone's kind of does. It kind of just like grows as you, um, you know, I don't know, custom content styles differ over time and maybe your tastes differ over time. Um, some people can like switch from alpha to maxis match or go in between. Um, that's kind of like how I went with my sim style because obviously in The Sims 3, which is what I grew up playing, um, that kind of leans more to the alpha side. So I was very much like an alpha kind of girl. And I, when I started playing The Sims 4, I also was kind of like in that alpha um, phase, which I still like that style. But over time, I just kind of ended up switching over to Maxis Mix. I did like Maxis Match for a while, but I just really, it wasn't for me. I, I couldn't get into like how, um, cartoony I guess it looked so I like going for like the middle of the road Maxis mix kind of style which I feel like a lot of people um, tend to do in the community I feel like that's the most popular style I guess to have um, your sims in so that's kind of um, yeah the style that I ended up going with over time because I think it matches better with the game but it also isn't so Maxis match that I don't like it that much um, so yeah, it's like a good middle of the road type of um, style. But yeah, um, I feel like the only like big difference over time with my sim style is probably like the eyes and the head shape. Um, I, I went for like bigger eyes and <laughs> they had bigger heads um, like earlier on. And I feel like over time that's kind of changed. I think I've gone for more well, I've been trying to go for like more realistic proportions, I guess, um, as time has gone on. So the eyes tend to be a bit smaller and I make the heads kind of like way smaller. I also recently have been trying to do like shorter necks because I noticed um, while like playing around in cast one day how long the necks are like by default, um, specifically for the female Sims. For some reason, their necks were like super long and I was just like looking at pictures and stuff of like actual real people, um, like on Pinterest and things like that. And I just noticed how different the neck length was compared to the game. So I've been trying to play around with neck sizes and um, heights and stuff like that, just so it looks a little bit more realistic because they tend to be so long. But um, it's interesting for the male Sims, I feel like they're necks usually are very short so i actually tend to make their necks longer i don't know maybe it's, it's probably just like a preference thing honestly but um i just find that the different like frames for the sims just their necks are really different um in that way but uh yeah i wonder if it like is for a height 
reason. Like, I wonder if the Sims team made the frames that way for, like, the heights to match up properly or something, but I just feel like it looks kind of strange, so I have been adjusting that, and I feel like that's something I've adjusted over time. But anyways, um, I haven't even talked about who these Sims are. I didn't, like, come up with a story or anything like that. Um, I just made these two Sims. Um, there's two Sims in this video, in case you didn't know. Um, you probably do, because the thumbnail literally says that they're siblings, but, uh, yeah, I just made, like, uh, siblings, um, so yeah, that's, that's basically it. There's no story or anything. I just made them and was like, yep, this is it. This is what I'm gonna put up. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Um... I don't know really what else to talk about, to be honest. I guess the new expansion pack is out. Um, that's like the newest thing in the Sims community is the Love Struck pack. So how are we feeling about that? I know there's a lot of controversy around it and um, different feelings. A lot of people are really excited about it um, and like the features that we're getting. And then a lot of people are like, I already have this in mods and they do it better, so I don't care. <laughs> Um, I kind of don't really know how I feel about it, to be honest. I'm not, like, super interested in it. I don't think that there's enough in it for me to really care that much. Um, that's just, like, how I feel personally. Uh, but I, I don't know. Who knows over time. Also, like, the build by doesn't seem that interesting to me either. So I'm just kind of, like... I don't know. I'm kind of neutral about it. I don't really care that much about it, to be honest. Um, but I know a lot of people are excited for some of the features that are coming in it. So yeah, let me know what your thoughts are about the new expansion pack. But yeah, I think that's like the newest thing really out. It does come with the new world, which is nice. And they do have like a city type of vibe um, coming with it in one of the neighborhoods. So that's kind of nice since we... I know that a lot of people have been wanting more of like a city kind of world um, with like apartments and stuff like that. So I know that that's a part of this new EP. So I think a lot of people will be excited to have that as well. Um, and it's also, I'm pretty sure if I'm not mistaken, it's based on Mexico. So that's also nice to get more like diverse worlds because a lot of the worlds we have are very like American, like North American kind of vibes. So. Yeah, that is nice um, to see, but other than like, I guess a new world and like new apartments and things like that, I don't know. I don't know if I'm really that interested in the pack. Um, I think a lot of the sentiment that other people have is that we have like the dating apps and um, like the bed cuddles and like all that kind of stuff, like, you know, animations or just like gameplay things in mods already, which I know for console players, um, they don't get to have that. So I know that, you know, for some people it's necessary or, you know, just that they want it. But yeah, I don't know. I'm kind of like neutral meh about it. I don't really care that much about it, but um, I do like the update. The update that's coming out um, well, it's already out, but I haven't updated my game personally because it, like, broke everything. So I am waiting to, um, update my game, which does mean, it does, like, affect this channel a little bit because when I upload builds from now on, um, and with these sims too, like, they're not going to be put on the gallery because I can't access the gallery because I'm offline because I'm not updating my game. Um, and I'm not gonna update it for a while until the bugs and stuff are kind of evened out and then I'll update it. Um, that's just kind of how I do it, just so I can keep the peace in my game, um, and not have to, you know, redo my mods folder a billion times because they have to keep coming out with, like, micro updates every couple days, so, um, yeah, just a heads up for that. Uh, that will be a little bit different on the channel, just that I won't be able to upload builds or sims and stuff like that to my gallery page, so they'll just be solely on sims file share. Um, I know it's like kind of inconvenient for some people, but it's just unfortunately the way it is with the way that the updates work with EA. Um, I just don't want to break my game and then not be able to build and do things. So I'm kind of holding off until um, everything's kind of ironed out, hopefully <laughs> at some point in the near future. But yeah, um, that's pretty much it. Uh, I think I'm gonna leave you guys with music for the next like minute I think or so because that's all that's really left of this video and I hope that you guys enjoyed 
Um, let me know if you want to see more casts, like create a sim content. Um, I'm totally down to do it. I have a lot of fun in create a sim making sims all the time. If you go on my Tumblr and you follow me there, you see me make quite a bit of sims. So yeah, just let me know if that's something you guys want to see in the future. And that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys hopefully soon with the speed build um, in Windenburg. And uh, that's about it. Hope you guys have a good day or night wherever you are, and I will see you next time. Bye!